Joining me now is Utah Congressman Burgess Owens and Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek. Thank you so much for joining us uh, tonight. I really, really do believe, uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, Congressman uh, Owens, uh, let me let me go to you first. How do you react to that? Because I got to tell you, they, I get a lot of preaching from the party that's supposed to be, you know, the one of the people and for democracy. The people who say they're the most tolerant seem to be the least tolerant of any sort of divergent thought. Well, first of all, Jason, what a great uh, monologue would start us off. Uh, let me just uh, say this. Uh, just think about what, how you feel when you listen to these people. Uh, the Democratic Party, unfortunately, and says to good Democrats who have found themselves still in the party, which I ended up leaving decades ago, it's about division, it's about hatred, it's about anger. Um, they do everything they can to make people miserable, 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 miserable so they can gain, uh, gain their power. And that's what you see in the black communities, uh, the inner city communities throughout our country. What you see there is what they project for the rest of our country, Mis uh, misery, uh, which is used as a political strategy to, to win their, their power. So we're waking up. And I think that's scaring them to death because we're now realizing, as, as I'm seeing across the country, blacks, Hispanics, across the board, it doesn't matter what our race and background is, we're realizing that we don't want to be uh, demeaned and uh, depressed. We want hope. That's what our country is all about. And we're, we're drifting back to the party that's going to give that to, to, to the rest of this country. Yeah, Congresswoman, they, the, the Democratic Party of today has really become one of division. It's just what Congressman Owens is saying is they, they, they continually divide and demean and degrade people and, and think they're stupid. I mean, they, they flat out say it. There's James Carville saying, yeah, that Republicans are just Republican voters are stupid. Well, that's exactly it, Jason. And, you know, it's always good to see you and my good friend Burgess. You know, think about this. The GOP is not the grand old party. We are the great opportunity party. We stand for freedom for for everyone, regardless of your background, regardless of where you come from. And that is the opportunity that the GOP is fighting to protect and uphold. But when you look at our colleagues to the left, it's do as I say, not do as I do. Everything they say is for, quote unquote, democracy and freedom, yet every policy that they have championed and passed out of the House this past year and a half has been anything but. They voted to defund police and make our communities less safe. They have voted to take away our Second Amendment rights, again, while simultaneously defunding police. They have an open border policy. They think that there's no problem with fentanyl that's become the number one killer of people between the ages of 18 and 45. And as the youngest Republican woman in Congress today, I am supposed to be what they would deem a victim. They want to victimize my generation. But now we have people like me, someone who's the daughter of a single mother, someone who has gone from homeless to the House of Representatives in under a decade, not because of Democratic policies, but because I am championing the freedom that the GOP has upheld. That is what we need to be fighting for. And by the way, to all our colleagues on the left, we do not have a democracy. We have a constitutional republic. So let's act like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's a good point. They always tend to forget that, that, yeah, that's actually how it works. But they go out and they preach a good game and they try to demonize those who believe in, for instance, the Tenth Amendment, which gives states the rights. Congressman Owens, uh, do they, they don't actually really believe in that Tenth Amendment. I mean, they want to centralize yeah. as much power in, in Washington, D.C., right? No, the left does not believe in our Constitution. That's why they continue to try to tear it down. Let me just give kudos to the American people, something that I don't think many of us realize that happened. We had a miracle uh, the last turnaround. Even though we lost the, the Senate, the House, the presidency, we flipped, as a country, 15 seats and did not lose one incumbent. You see people like myself and Kat that are new Congress people that represent this new Congress that is all about America first. We're not, we're not ashamed of who we are. We're not ashamed of our past. We, we, we talk about how we can be inclusive to each other. This is the new Republican Party, and we have an opportunity this go around to add on to that. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about where our country is. I'm excited about the, that the fact our country is waking up to the lies of the left. And all you have to do is, again, look back on the history and the damage it's done to the black community that I grew up in, and we don't want any parts of that. So let's continue to realize there yeah. is good and there's, there's bad. And the Democratic Party has brought nothing but bad to our country uh, as long as they've been around. Yeah, I remember uh, Vice President Pence would often say, uh, 
Congresswoman, you would also often say, look, I'm a conservative. I'm not angry about it. I, I'm a happy person. And uh, but you know what? The left doesn't seem to believe in self-determination, and they seem to be awfully mad at anybody who thinks anything different than they do. Well, and that's exactly it, Jason. You know, when I talk about how I was supposed to be one of their target, you know, I'm their target demographic. I'm a college-educated woman, and they want to basically own certain demographics in this country. If you're a minority, you supposedly have to vote Democrat. If you're a college-educated woman, you have to vote Democrat. If you're a Gen Z or millennial, they want you and demand that you vote Democrat, because they're all about checking boxes. They're all about, quote-unquote, diversity, except for when it comes to diversity of thought. Thought. They want to be the thought police, and it's groupthink, and it's dangerous, and we are seeing the result of that kind of action in Washington. Take no look further than your local gas pump or your grocery store. Their economic policies have failed. Their national security policies have failed. That is why November is going to be a resounding win for Republicans. It's because we are about faith, family, freedom. It's because we are about that opportunity, and we're going to secure the border. We're going to lower gas prices. We're going to get our community safe again, and we're going to put America first. And we're not going to continue to perpetuate the stereotype that everyone is a victim. We are about empowerment. We are about giving the opportunity to every individual, regardless of where they come from. And so I think that we speak with actions while the left speaks with words. And I think the American people are smart enough to figure out what's up at the end of the day. Yeah, I've never seen a party prevail for a long term when they just demonize and 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 call the voters stupid. I don't think that's a great strategy, but that's where the Democrats of today are. Congressman Owens, Cong Congresswoman Kamek, I wish I had more time, but I got to go. So thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.